baby beard. <laughs> Waited for you, Brian. This episode traumatized me as a young person. <laughs> my head is hurting again. <laughs> Where's my firstborn son? God does not care about me masturbating. <laughs> your singing is bad and you should feel bad. <laughs> first get out into the bus, so you're like, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like myself <laughs> becoming the protagonist of this well, podcast. <laughs> <laughs> You've been in yeah, because you haven't learned anything. Been- Shut up and take my podcast. Lord, Lord. Lord. <laughs> There's nothing else I could do, really. No. I, had no, to give it a you had to. I had to give it a folk spin. Oh, oh. You're just folking around no, over there, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> folk off with that shit. <laughs> oh. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Australian Futurama podcast known as Shut Up and Take My Podcast, where we pit episode against episode in a bloody glorious Folky, jazzy, going to the battle for anyone's entertainment that wants it, really. And then we're going to sell out and do a rap number. Oh, yeah. Hell I've been yeah. planning on this for several years yes. at this point. I have it's our last minute pivot. Yeah. I have our bespoke cheerleader outfits all planned out. Oh, wow. Um,. I've got some grills ready. Ooh, ooh. Y'all just let me know when you want. <laughs> you know. Okay, now. Are grills still oh, a thing? <laughs> Are, who has grills these days? Is grills I was going to in... say Post Malone, but I think he just has oh. shit teeth. I think right. he just has really bad teeth. That's the sure. new grills. <laughs> Not going six, to the dentist. 6 9 has stuff on his teeth? 6 9 Probably. To, uh, what's his name? Takeshi, Takeshi uh, Takeshi's castle. I've got no fucking idea. I'm not know. actually that um, into the rap. I'm, uh, I'm joined here by... Ellen. Uh, I have a praiseworthy grandma. <laughs> oh. She's lovely. Praise you her. You know? She's been praised. There you go. <laughs> I am joined here by Phil. You can call me Hollerin' Harker Smith, the new greatest folk singer in the galaxy. <laughs> and, and we're, we're joined, joined by, by Sean. Sean. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, that was my favourite moment for the episode. Beautiful. The hay. The mm. hay. The yeah. hay. So tasty. Hay. But like a good folk song, so simple. You yeah. Know? You so know? simple yet so beautiful. And you can still derive multiple meanings from mm. hay. Yeah. Mm. What is does it, hay mean? Is it what horses eat? That, that's exactly yeah. what I was going for, actually. <laughs> is, it, is it what that, that, is it that bad-hearted what you... woman said to you? Oh. Oh. Which one? No. no. Is it what you had to sleep on when she took your house and your dog? Oh, and oh. Your... Made me sleep on the couch that is no longer at the house that she took. It's a different couch. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> all the furniture is now outside of the house that she now owns. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Hey, guys. They'll do that to you. What? We're up to season seven, episode 14. We have officially, as of an hour ago, ripped apart the plastic that will be the final Futurama DVD. Yeah. Oh my god! We ever do? We're on the we're on the home sprint. He ain't kidding. That's Sean, nuts. what are we? Get, made we go a back mo- to our lives finally. <laughs> no, never. No. Uh, Sean made like a move, like he was going to snap the DVD case in half. Oh god! Uh, I did capture it on video for posterity. I... But he just he like punched a hole in the plastic with a pen, and I'm like, okay, right, right, right. and then just went in one swift. Yeah, movement. like like he was breaking it open. And then there was this horrible crack noise, but then all the plastic slipped off. Five years of training at a video store, I know the most effective way to break the plastic off a DVD. Oh. Mm. Without destroying said DVD. Yes, with a flourish. Mm. You can Mm. can do it. Anyway, season seven, episode 14. (laughs) Yes. 40% lead belly. And Mm. for those that are unaware, are unaware? What does that mean? Uh, Ananaware. Da, 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 da. Ananaware. <laughs> well, lead belly is a... Uh, lead belly is um, you, some sort of folky term. I holy guess. shit. Yeah, we actually I, might not know what this I reference is for the first I've, time ever. I've, I've heard lead be- the term lead belly before. I think it means that you can... Eat whatever, right? I don't know. Oh, I'm lost. I got no idea. I knew it was something... Like it sounds like a... Well, lead belly was a singer... There you go. He was an American folk and blues singer, musician, yeah. and songwriter. There you notable go. for his strong vo- vo- vocals and his virtuosity on the 12 string guitar. Ooh. There you go. That, yeah. That'll be it then. So he is 40% Lead Belly, which ah. is also a reference to. His name was to... Huddy William Ledbetter. 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 Oh, it was too. Huddy's yeah. an amazing name. Yeah. Uh, better known by the stage name Lead Belly. So yeah, that's great. That's cool. Because, you know, 40% Lead. Yeah. Belly. What, Ben? 
Like what Bender's made like of. Like what Bender's always made of different metals. Yeah. And we haven't kept track on that. Said I was going to, never did. <laughs> no, I mean, people on the internet have, so just look it up. Look it That's up. Right. Look I'm it so up. glad that people are better at doing our jobs than we are. Than we I are. know, <laughs> right? We can get on to talking about more important things. Like, like our, the director. Yes. The friend Ooh. of the podcast. What a, what a, what a great serve up that was. <laughs> oh. That was nice. Stop Tasty. lampshading it. Stephen. Sandoval. Oh. And uh, the writer of this episode is not a friend of the podcast yet. <laughs> enemy, of the, enemy of the podcast. Rival. Loather of the podcast. Long time Nemesis. rival. <laughs> no, he is the, uh, he is the uh, ever elusive Ken Keeler. He's the Pokemon Ken blue. Keeler. <laughs> He's the Pokemon blue to our Pokemon red. <laughs> now we found out that the reason we'll probably never um, get Ken Keeler on the podcast is because he, he like, he's kind he of lives secluded. In a, yeah. Right. In like a forest? So, I don't he know. Lives secluded in a forest genius. is what we were told. Yeah. Okay. But. Maybe it's that well, he one never... day we'll trek out there, <laughs> well, yeah. maybe, knock on his door. <laughs> maybe it's that he never really exists. Maybe there is no Ken Keeler. There is no. They're all. Maybe Ken we are Ken Keeler. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So Ken Keeler was the friends was we Keeler. made along the way. <laughs> oh. At the edit for this episode is July the third, two thousand and three, which was five days before my twenty second birthday. Uh, it's pretty close to my birthday too. Uh, yeah. Seven days. No. Wait, did you say the fourteenth? Did so you that's... say third of July? Yeah. Oh, it's so easy. Yes, it's a month after my birthday. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> birthday watch. Which one? Shit! What year? Yeah, <laughs> two thousand three. Two thousand. Oh, Your tenth there... birthday. Uh, I think like it would have been younger. And introducing <laughs> no one. <laughs> Moving right along. Yeah. What do you mean? Well, no one of note. Oh, uh, excuse what the that robot guy whose name. Eludes um, me this second. Um, big, big caboose. Yeah. caboose. No one notable was voicing him though, and he's not a recurring character. Uh, he's introduced. What um, about that Jezebel? Red, red silicon red. He's introduced. I feel you're unclear on why I use the introducing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> notable voice actors or notable characters that return. Oh, I think silicon's very no- notable. His face is pretty notable. What's he made of? <laughs> uh, silicon. Uh, sand. He's made of sand. sand. Made of sand. Because his name is Silicon ah. Red. Um, I'm guessing his name is a pun on a real folk singer. Look, do you want well, me to find out? The yes. only red th- singer I can think of is um, because if you find Willie it- Nelson. All I'm getting is yeah. silicon wristbands at the moment. If I look <laughs> well, up maybe silicon red. If his, if his oh, character has old... a page on the Futurama wiki, maybe they would know. Oh, that old silicon wristband. He, uh, you snap him twice. Uh, nope. Nope. I'm sure his name is some kind of pun. Oh, Probably. I think it's just adding a colour with a thing. Okay. Like, like is that your your folk Like, my name? name would be, like, Carbon Blue. Right, okay. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I like that name, actually. I do like his design, though. The fact that he is, like, a sand man. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like the Willie Nelson thing. Or, like, this kind of old, raggedy kind of guy. Goes to jail a lot. Yeah. <laughs> goes to jail. Has a lot of, kind of... I like as well that it kind of delves into like the uh, the thing that is magic about folk and blues songs is mm. that it is kind of like it has a, an earnestness to it. Like the simple. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, Sorry, guys, I'm very ill. Uh, like it has a simplicity to it in that, you know, the chords are very simple, but it's also like. And and the lyrics are very simple as well, but it's in the telling of it. It's in the heart. It's why they call the the blues. That's you know? why they call it the blues. It. Yeah, like <laughs> I guess song. that's why they call it the it, blues. Is the joke I should have made. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's nice that they they manage to like hold both positions where they say that it's uh, incredibly formulaic and you can derive the the yeah. what's in every folk song. But also, it doesn't work unless you, it's real experience. Yeah. So, it, it's it's nice, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. They well, defend you... it and attack it at the same time, which is often where Futurama is best mm. when they're hovering between the two extremes. And I don't think you need to, like, uh, fully live... You don't You don't need to go to jail 20 times to, 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 you know, perform or write a great song about going to jail. But you do need to feel it, you know? Mm. You need I think feel that's... the jail. Yeah, and I think... Mm. <laughs> Feel the sorrow. <laughs> and I um, think that's something interesting when we're talking about Bender because, you know, he doesn't really have emotions unless they're very self-serving, you know. So it's a, uh, yeah, it's an interesting story to explore through. He has a lifelong dream, though. 
He does. Which one? He, Which he just remembers. We all just remember. <laughs> he? <laughs> he has two lifelong dreams, doesn't he? He has. To be he a wants chef? to be a famous chef and a famous folk singer. Didn't he want to be a comedian? At hey, some man. Point? Uh, yeah, has a comedian. Will... Or was that oh, Zoidberg? That's that's Zoidberg. Zoidberg. That's Zoidberg. Yeah. I feel like someone has done both of those things. I know Snoop Dogg is now making his own Snoop bed. Like, not is he his what, own a recipes? Chef? Yeah. He's Are best they just chef. all weed related? No. Didn't he, he's didn't got he a go famous on with Martha Stewart? They're Snoop, best buds. Yeah. They Snoop are, Chef. <laughs> the best buds. S- the best there you buds. go. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Snoop Dogg Chef. Weed. Uh, he made a cookbook. Yeah. He's a natural sushi chef thanks to his years of... Or, or, <laughs> rolling. Or, rolling. <laughs> uh, there you go. Yes. Blunt rolling. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. Really? Yep. Of course it was. What else is it going to be? <laughs> yeah. Years of being a well, sushi chef. Well, obviously, you know, he trained for 10 years. In, hey, um, yeah. By the way, how would you reckon Willie Nelson is? Just because I was thinking God, about God, he's going to be fucking old. He's going to be like 80-something. I'm calling it. 80 uh, what? I reckon he's... Early 80s. He's 81. He's 88. Oh. oh, what do you reckon? You say eighty-one. Uh, eighty-one, yeah. Uh, Phil, Phil's closer. Phil wins at eighty-six years old. He's eighty-six. He's eighty fucking six. I'll say my it. Friend. He looks good. Uh, jumping back to <laughs> recurring <laughs> characters. <laughs> Speaking of an old man, uh, what about that scientist? Oh, what's his name? You know, I probably should. Is he an old man? Oh, no, no, no. Because we're aged. talking about. Never mind. It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it was a terrible segue. I didn't get the joke. Old, is man, right, really? old Man River? <laughs> Anyone who wants to get the old joke. Old Man uh, who gets River. The joke, right no, in. I was talking about, yeah, the scientist who says, I call the prophet. Science. Is his name. Uh, is his um, name. He reminds me of one of the cryogenic technicians. We have, have we met him? I, I don't know. Me? That's what I'm trying to work out. Nope, that's Brutalov. He's a doctor as well, though, Dr. by the way. Brutalov. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Brutalov. Hey, you got so many introductions. <laughs> Once again, he he's doesn't. It's the only man comes. <laughs> Look, that's all he appears in. Doesn't uh, count. Uh, what's this? Gl- guy? Glowing eyes. Oh, what the I f- don't know what the character's called. What the fuck is his name? Um, Gus? Gus? Is it Gus? <laughs> nope, it's not Gus. Gus is Gus. Gus. Is By the way, Gus is someone I would introduce because look at that resume right there. Yeah, he's, yeah. I recognize those two tramps. Uh, uh, I ate my big toe. Oh, toes. of course. It's fucking Dr. Ben Beeler. Ben Beeler. Ben yeah. Beeler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no of course. way. That's, there you go. We are reintroduced to Dr. Ben Beeler. Are That's there, your fucking ben introduction Beeler. right are there. there. Any, are there any pictures of Ken Keeler? Is there actually... Does he yeah. look similar? Nothing. Yeah. looks nothing like him. Okay. Oh. Because that's... Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you Ken Keeler. Ken Keeler is quite bald. <laughs> quite. Quite bald. Look at that five head. He's got a nice head. He does. No, I, I wish I had that head. <laughs> What a five head, yeah, yeah. Like that's that's and that is that that's a nice. Ben Beeler is not, yeah. Unless that's meant to be Ben Beeler on the left there, but I don't think it is. No, well, that no, because Ben Beeler is yeah he's, uh, has appeared on the right. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah, guys. By the way, since we've uh, had the computer in front of us, we're making extensive use of it from week to week. So. Yeah, yeah. We we're doing our research on the fly rather than being They're prepared not, or not doing our research. At yeah, all. that's correct. <laughs> so, um, you have you to wanna... kind of just like you know intuitively figure out what I'm clicking on, then you can play along. As well. Do you want me to intuitively figure out the plot of this Oh, episode? figure it out away in folk song. <laughs> well, so, well <laughs> this is a story all about Mender <laughs> and his desire to be a folk singer. Oh, it rhymed. Just. <laughs> he meets an old fa- so folk singer at prison and decides to copy his guitar. Isn't. Uh, I'm helping you rhyme. I'm it doesn't rhyme. always have to rhyme. This one does. I'm done with that. Just feel it, feel. Just I like feel it. So he decides to become a folk singer. Uh, so he copies <laughs> a folk singer's guitar um, and then basically copies everyone's folk songs by reducing them to a formula. But it's not good enough. No. It doesn't work because doesn't he work. has to be real experience from the heart. Yeah. So he goes to, to spend time on the railroad because that's where folk songs come from. Uh, and he happens to meet uh, a big guy called Big Caboose. Big and, Caboose. And then everything he sings about, like Big Caboose getting with Jezebel and then Ramblin' Rodriguez. Because he's, uh, he's still connected away. to the Wi-Fi. It starts happening. And then that turns out it's because he is everything he imagines is coming out of a 3D printer. <laughs> yep. Because he's, he's connected to it. As you say, he's connected to the 3D printer. And in the end, he... Uh, he they've discovered this. He prints some a load of octopuses, octopi, octopi. <laughs> uh, by 
That's from his up. mind. Um, and uh, in the end, to get out of out of the whole tragic finale of the song, he creates a duplicate, yeah. which is then killed by a train by Big Caboose. Uh, and to top it all off, him and Silicon Red decide to be a sellout and become rap artists. Yep. So we can with Big Caboose. The end. We yeah. can clarify this. Uh, both, yes, uh, Bender is correct. Both octopi and octopuses are perfectly acceptable and cromulent uh, uses of yes, and yeah. octopodes. I think as well. You can look octopadius. None language doesn't matter. You guys, like, language <laughs> language well, does matter. It's all <laughs> the stupid. non-prescriptive approach is is one way of looking at it. Yes. Yeah, that's how it evolves, baby. Rule of thumb: If English gets the opportunity to trip you up, it will. What if what if Shakespeare didn't like invent all those words? Would we just be like, no, eyeball isn't a word. No, yes. bubble That's isn't a word. D- d- yeah. Oh wait, are you disagreeing? Or <laughs> you'll have to find out. The, the one thing I actually took away from this episode is, fuck, how great would it be if the internet and Wi-Fi in Australia was as good as Bender's Link cross planet? Because every- yeah, that would never happen here. Not. I ever. wouldn't even mind if you had to operate it via a crank if it was that effective. Oh yeah, yeah. interplanetary Wi-Fi. Ben is fucking strong. That's a bender That's function right. in itself. Yeah. What? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, it's well, function. it looks like we down yeah. down to bender <laughs> functions. <laughs> down, down, down. So he he, he is a wireless. Uh, uh, Router, I guess. Mm. Yeah, uh, he or router for you Americans. Or router. Uh, he can he can send signals via his antenna once he's been cranked up uh, um, oh, yeah. through a little hand crank, and then he starts sending, which is great. Uh, he's also one of those cute little projectors. Uh, what are those toy projectors? I can't what are they what called? They're called. Oh, yeah, it's like a um, viewmaster. View, or yeah, viewmaster. I think it's a viewmaster. It's like a slide. He, it's like a a kid's slide. Thing. You got it, viewmaster. Yeah. Yes. I saw like one of I was in a vintage shop recently and I saw like a one in its original packaging. Oh, how um, much? I didn't oh, I probably de- a lot. Definitely yeah. out of my oh, price range. They've got to be a collector's what. item. Original yeah. in mint uh, in package. About yeah. about seventy bucks, sixty, yeah. seventy, depending. Is that mint in package? This is uh no. Yes, a boxed set. Boxed set. Yep. Yeah. Well look, also I'm poor, so that is out of my price range right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh I, all, and finally, I think it's not quite a bender function, but it does seg us into a really fun part of the episode, which is uh, we get to see uh, Bender's uh, operating system and and uh, files mm. file structure inside Bender's mind, which it's is not great. quite right, not quite the Internet of Futurama. So it's a completely different. It's just his OP. Well, it's guess, just in yeah. his yeah, OS, his, like, his like, OS inside, yeah, yeah. and it, it looks like Windows ninety eight oh, basically <laughs> with, the, with the folders <laughs> and everything. And there's some really great Easter eggs and callbacks in there, which I loved. Penguin, so there's, penguin identity? Yeah, there's like Bender's yeah. regular identity and his penguin, penguin identity oh. still stored on his hard drive. Uh, yes. And there's like a terabyte of normal files <laughs> of like a thousand terabytes of Is that 100,000 terabytes? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 100,000 terabytes of porn. And then in his normal kind of folds. <laughs> so much porn. In his normal folders, there's only like four, right? Yeah. There's yeah. Like ex- it's, it's... Stealing shit from Zoidberg, exotic burps. Yes. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I uh, didn't folk catch the singing. other two. Folk singing, and there must be one and we, more. And we, we act like that's a lot. I remember I had a housemate that I lived with that his his porn folder was sizable. Really? Sure. Sizable. Yeah. You download yeah. it, huh? Yeah. I, I, I still have a collection kicking around on an old hard drive does when anyone, my internet wasn't that good. Does anyone <laughs> have... Download look, that on a baby beard hard drive? <laughs> this is... Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it, work, it doesn't... Uh, thankfully, it doesn't work like a VHS where you just tape over things. Yeah. <laughs> what, um... Does anyone have any, like, old-fashioned porn? Like what? Old Once fashion. they have to, porn, they have to, they have to crank for it to work. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you have are a, we view, about? a view master, and it's yes. all of them. What are those I'm, peep I'm show things where you, you look into the? I'm going to regret looking this up. The eye holes. Oh, vintage. Like, you just type in vintage porn. I write view view <laughs> master porn. porn. There's definitely vintage porn. There's definitely out there. vintage porn. Yeah. There you yeah. go. It's no. another collector's thing. Porn the way it was meant to be seen on a Viewmaster. Oh. Fantastic. I'm that actually fantastic. does sound like a fun idea. I'm not going to click on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. The Someone's going to check your history. Yeah. By, you... I, by the way. Yes. Is anyone here actually a fan of folk? 
Uh, I quite I, I like don't mind her. a bit of folk. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind. I, I really like Hosier. Have you? Have you? Heard I Hosier? love Hosier. Hosier's I fo- love that's folk him. music to me. Well, yeah. Uh, it's a little bit modernized. Um, it's and there's so beautiful. A bit more guitar, like harder guitar yeah. in it. But I, I really like that, and that's where its roots are. Yeah. Is in folk. I, I love. I quite like folk. His um, lyrics are just something else. Oh as well, yeah, for which, sure, for uh, sure. And then spell this man's name. H O Z I E R. Well, I was very. Off. And he is also so beautiful. Yeah, so, he's Irish. He's yeah. really fantastic. Have you seen everyone being like, Hosier has not confirmed nor denied that he is of the Fae? <laughs> and there's like yes. an, an interviewer who's like, Are Ooh. you? Are you a fairy? Oh my and he's god. Like, this man is. I attractive. don't care to say. <laughs> he certainly is attractive. He's Look very attractive. Yeah, he's yeah. An, he is an Adonis. Mm-hmm. He's definitely his, a bard and a half. And his lyrics, man, they're just oh, so beautiful. Yeah, his and lyric is wonderful. And it's like you know, like other people have lyrics where it's like all about you know someone's body or whatever. But it's mm. just like so it's so lush with emotional mm. storytelling and I, visceral. I, and so, it's probably my favorite is work song, which which <laughs> oh yeah, which is definitely a folk mm. song. My it, Term. Is, is yeah, that yeah. The so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's from the perspective of people working, yeah, prison labor essentially, yeah. um, and Lay that is a real folky kind of idea, right? Lay the chain gang song, the cold dark ground. Yeah, I'm getting yeah. super James Franco vibes from him, and I have no idea why because he doesn't look like James Franco. It's probably because, but I can see got... James Franco playing him. Oh yeah, mm. I think it's maybe. I think it's a better. Like the mouth shape, yeah, and that kind of like l- that lopsided smile. There you go, bit. that's James Franco right there. No grave, call my, my body, body down. down. I crawl home, home to her. her. Yeah, yeah. I, I, could, I can actually sing that song. Also, start that to was finish, a nice, so. that was a very nice bit of harmony right Thanks. there. I, I, have, I sing that song all the time, <laughs> it's so, so I actually it's one I can actually sing. So. I have an audition. Thank you very I have an audition much, in two days, so you better teach me that because <laughs> I fucking don't know what song I'm singing. Oh, oh God, okay, two days to teach you. Yeah, who's here? Um, yeah, so like, like, I think there's loads of good folk out but there. But any, um, any, like, I mean, it's hard to say as well, generalizing with like one genre of music. But mm-hmm. like, um, and folk is one of those things, and it has like a weird connection for me, where it's like there's so many murder ballads mm. specifically Ooh. in folk. Like, it's a whole subgenre of murder ballad. Yeah, where it's like Nick Cave does a lot of them, yep. and it's kind yeah. of like you know, like. The, you know, this woman. Nick Dermot. Cave is, is kind of... He's very folky. Folky, yeah. yeah. It's all about kind of like... It's like simple, but then also lyrical. It's like a weird mishmash of both in ways that you can kind of convey... Um, you know, it, and it's all about the kind of hard done by, like I mean, people joke about that a lot in blues. It's like, oh, you know, my wife took my dog and she my left lost me. My, and yeah, left tell my you, job. Tell you what's a really good like folk influence artist yes. who's not traditional folk is a guy called Buck Sixty Five. And he is a he is like a hip hop slash rapper, but he has really, really folky music and themes and lyrics. Mm. Uh, and the best one is an album called Talking Honky Blues. <laughs> Because um, yeah. he's a talking honky, yeah. and the, the honky. album's really bluesy. Yeah, uh, and you know it's all about. Uh, there's a theme in that album about him living by the river on a on a houseboat, um, about the the kind of the people who are uh, the detritus washed up of society, yeah. and how they're hard done by. There's a rap about shining shoes. Uh, there's all sorts of like really kind of folky themes that run through it, but yeah. it's a rap album. Really, really cool, that's and that's what I think about folk. Is it, it these days? There's less kind of mainstream kind of yeah. folk singers than there are things that are influenced by folk. And every so often, you get an, an, an artist who'll come through who gets really, really f- kind of popular. Yeah, things like uh, uh, I'm not, I'm not. Am I thinking Boy and Bear? Who? No, Boy and Bear. Yeah, yeah, Boy, boy and They're Bear. They're quite folky. Uh, and um, who are those? Even Jack um, Johnson. Yeah, or even and um, John Jackson. John Jackson. Oh, who am I thinking of? Uh, Mumford and Sons. Mumford and Sons. So that's um, who I was thinking of. Yeah. yeah so but Boy and Bear as well. Yeah. yeah. To answer your question in a really long-winded way, people like folk, that, but they don't know it. Yeah. yeah. All folk yeah. like folk. The only yeah. The, yeah. the only thing I will say about folk is that, because it is quite it's rooted in these kind of traditions and, you know, simple storytelling, is that quite often it can be, um, you know, uh, anchored to 
bad tradition and, and, you know, it can be quite sexist and misogynist and that's where all these murder ballads, you know, where the, the woman done me wrong and so I had to put her down and it's like... Or, or, or how does it go? Um, I trod on his face. <laughs> 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 I, just, <laughs> yeah. I can't remember what the rhyme is, but it's really good. Yeah, I, I wish I remembered those lyrics, because that is um, great. Yeah. I, I Send think, up of the murder ballad, his lyrics at yeah, the beginning. Yeah, and I, I like that. Oh, I it's think so what, good. So, guys, if, if you want to... We've got enough here to do a folk podcast in itself. So, if you want us to do a folk podcast, let yeah, us let know. Us yeah. <laughs> Shut up and... It would just be Ella and I singing our favourite oh, Hosea song. Yeah. If there's one thing I cannot <laughs> talk about, it's music. Really? Cool, I, that's why we fielded that five minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why yeah. I handballed it to you and went, I'm out. Do you, is it because it's hard to describe? No, it's because I never, I never, this is, I never grew up on music. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah. I grew up on films and I grew up on TV. Mm. And now, if there's ever a chance for me to listen to music, I don't do that. And I listen to podcasts it can instead. Be, yeah. It can be really hard sometimes to listen to music. Because I think of how intimate it is. And like, even I've, I've, been starting to go to a few more like live music performances and it can just be very strange for me personally because I think of music as this really intimate um, alone thing you know where you put your headphones in and it just feels like this person's communicating directly to you and then sometimes you, you're in a room with everyone and you're kind of having that same experience. It can give you a bit of like a... Well, there's wait, there's music for different kinds of atmospheres. That's true. See, so. maybe, maybe it's something to do with the fact that, you know, I'm half deaf. Yeah, maybe. So mm. I've just got maybe a bit of a tenuous link to sound in general. Yeah. I don't know. Because, you know, also, I don't, I don't get to enjoy having music in my ear and still having a conversation with someone. Yeah. I have no clue what that feels yeah. like. like the, <laughs> yeah. the concept of stereo does not exist yeah. to me. Let's... Let's talk about the episode of Future Armour that we were Wait, I had one more thing I wanted to say about music. (laughs) Okay, then I'll I'll cut it out. (laughs) Thank you. No, it's it's weird that we have um, rap as like selling out. I think that's a really weird illusion of yeah. like blues and or blues and folk and, and then rap being like these kind of polar opposite things. And they kind of are a, a bit. Like yeah. blues is like, I'm a loser. Didn't, I've lost Didn't Billy things. Ray Cyrus do something really similar to that? Probably. Billy Ray Cyrus is a rapper? Well, he did like a modern pivot and it was awful. Well, because like Ugh. blues and folk are about losing, right? They're yeah. about the hard times. And rap is and, all about and, being a winner, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's about I came from this place and now here I fucking Started am. Started at the Look, bottom, now we're here. Now we're here. Like, mm. it's a really interesting thing that that's selling out. And I'm yeah. like, sometimes it's nice to be like, fuck yeah, yeah. I'll you, do good. You did. You went from the bottom to the top and now you got all this nice oh, shit. Old Town Road has Billy Ray Cyrus in it. Yeah, <laughs> I did Country not know that. that. Look, that's that's me learning um, stuff. Yeah, Old Town Road. Hey guys, this episode, Death Tally. <laughs> oh yeah, should be Ooh. fry. Uh, but it's a he's made of nanoplastic. So fry? Oh, you mean at the beginning when he fucking explodes himself with dynamite? Uh. Yes, and also he gets attacked by Doctor Doctor. Uh, Dr. Br- uh, Br- I was going to say Bronkovich. No. Doctor Doctor <laughs> Doctor Brunilov. Brocker Brocker Brutalov. Brutalov. Doctor Brutalov. Wow. Like gets slashed. He. Oh, I think he gets stabbed. His leg is is pretty broken yeah. when he gets out of the carbonite. And he, I thought and he's he was just half in carbonite as well. I thought he yeah. was just waking up. I don't know. But like he has the dynamite and goes into the drops house. <laughs> and then the whole thing is like dibs on the toes. But like, yeah. you are dead, my friend. Yeah, no, he's just a bit. He's just a bit scalded. I refuse yeah. to fucking help. I mean, he was behind the door. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know what was in that room. It Dude, dynamite. Been, yeah, but it could have been explosives behind a big wall. Yeah. <laughs> But he was carrying it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but with him. I, sh- I, <laughs> they wisely decided to put that to have that happen behind, um, you know, in the actual thing mm. and have us not witness it. Yeah, it's very weird so, what we are and aren't. If there's anything we learn, like they can say the word shit in Futurama, but what word can't they say? Can't. Uh, <laughs> we uh, we just went through this last week. Oh Crap, yeah, bugger. No, no, no. Oh, I can't remember. Boner. Boner, that's okay. right. Boner. I knew it was some like silly dick word. Silly dick word. <laughs> it's a silly dick word. Willy. What do you... <laughs> but yeah, that's my... Oh, they can, surely they can say Willy. That's yeah. my death tally. Do you have any fashion uh, Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh. a, a duplicate bender. He, he does. Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. Duplicate Anyth- bender. Anyone else? Does... No, um... Uh, I Dr. bet those octopi die. 
Brutalov, not Brutalov. He escapes. Um, Caboose doesn't die. No, no, no he he's there at the he end. He doesn't meet an ending. Yeah. No, no one else dies. Because in folk songs, you're immortal. Fuck. Oh. We should change. <laughs> uh, fashion corner, go. Fashion corner. But with wink. Ellen Wink. Right. Well, uh, that's less folky. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> um, uh, Jezebel had this kind of interesting do uh clearly western and kind of uh yeah western brothel Bordello. kind of yeah inspired where it's across her boobs like a bustier um and then she's got like a weird kind of skirt thing so it kind of it kind of hoops out um but then it's almost like one of those mullet dresses you know where it's mm. kind of like it's well short the front to show and it's size. got like yeah, <laughs> yeah and it's got like a kind of long veil at the back almost mm-hmm. um and i liked the color scheme it was in it was mm-hmm. kind of like I, her whole color scheme i really liked it was lots of nice nice blues purples he's got quite the imagination mender doesn't he he really does. Yeah, well, he made I'm quite sure, a fun broad. Well, he does have over a thousand terabytes in porn. Yeah, so that's true. I'm yeah, sure he's seen sense, many yeah. a broad in that. I really like the design days. of Big Caboose as well. I think he's really yeah. fun. Yeah. I, also I mean, like, he's just wearing overalls, so I'm not going to give him any points. <laughs> I also fucking love Bender's shirt. Bender's, Bender's really? flannel. You oh, love I his love flannel. Jake I love that flannel shirt. He where looked, he, got, he tells people that he won in a knife fight at Jake Crew. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that colour really, really, really pops on Bender. It I, really sets him up. Like, it really excels you at hit him as a folk singer. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, it doesn't take much. You just stick a plaid shirt on him and yeah. he's got the vi- right vibe. I'm not, I'm not opposed to flannel. It's a bit hard because Bender doesn't, like, Bender's not able to put on, like, a full ensemble like it's just a shirt <coughs> the plan express are wearing um their new uniforms yeah they've, they've, had, their they've, new they've had it for about they've a had, season yeah. now yeah. otherwise i would say that they don't always wear them but they no, no. but when they do well, it's because they rarely go on missions anymore <laughs> yeah they rarely do their job <laughs> I, I, leela made use of it quite big use of it oh yeah Get, dr- getting getting hollered at bit of uh, tna yeah oh um, stop <laughs> <laughs> but she looks amazing oh it? yeah like yeah the, the shorts and the um you know the the little kind of um window uh the window that it's kind her. of like a bit of a v-neck on her it's, it's look if it's one thing i've learned through doing this podcast is i'm more attracted to leela than i realized i was <laughs> it's because you need a strong woman in your life <laughs> i do <laughs> there was uh what about um uh Ooh. bender and his uh, extraordinary or oh, sorry rambling Rodriguez oh. from the song and his extraordinarily oh, pointy that's cowboy right. boots he's got very pointy but bo- they're not that's boots that's a Mexican are they? thing isn't it yeah it's a Mexican fashion thing yeah uh, ca- Cabrero is that what they're called I think that yeah Cabrero. I think you're correct Cabrero? and he's got that kind of um, that's not what I want no it, it's it's not so much a boot it's more kind of like a not a loafer style but like a, a short shoe like it's it's an ankle height it's shoe like a but the, but the boot. point yeah. is quite pronounced it's quite, it's oh, quite. In, in bender's case quite yeah. pronounced no, no no but that isn't that inaccurate when people really get into those boots they have yeah insane toes fashion is all about that kind of thing it's like Going how bold. do i how do i show this if this is an element of there status how do I then do it over the top? And then that's when yeah. people go, oh, this is tacky. And it's like, no, well, we're just, it's just, it's its following it to its logical end. Yeah. Kind do of people thing. really wear those kinds of shoes? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Holy it's shit. It's a Mexican cowboy thing. They are weapons. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, and I do like a rambling Rambling Rodriguez, um, you know, his kind of folk. Uh, Persona. personification yeah. with the with the mustache. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. very kind of old school western, sleazy. You know, he's got the kind of um, you know full suit. Um, it's even what what has he got? Sean, can you open What's that up? picture for me? What do you want? My memory is terrible. Can rambling you? Yeah. The the evil story version, or yeah. The... yeah well, it's, he's got like a kind of long coat. It's very like leathery, very brown, but. It's, yeah, he lo- he really looks like a, a he Western looks like a, villain, a Western villain, yeah. and that is a very I mean I really like their use of that art style as well for mm. those sections. Yeah, it's really yeah. fun, all really in cool. sepia tone. Yeah. When they actually get the like chance etchings. to like, yeah. like yeah. really explore outside their animation style mm-hmm. and yeah. that kind of story. Like I think of like DreamWorks and and uh, Disney films when they go a thousand years ago and they like Kung Fu Panda does it mm. a lot as well. Oh, like, yeah. That different art style that just used to set up a story. It's yeah. beautiful. Even yeah, even in Milan. 
They Ooh, use the kind of I haven't seen Mulan. Why have what? I written really? and stay what? out? No, I haven't. <gasps> you should. What's I'll probably see the live action film before I see the animation. Sean, <laughs> stop doing this. <laughs> you have Sean, to ah. <laughs> did it with Beauty and the Beast. Me so, and Neely are going to team up on you. Sorry, you go, Phil. What's your want philosophical to, yeah. question? Oh. No, I just, <laughs> I just, this is the section of the podcast where you tell me what my notes mean. What is your note? And stay out. And stay out is on the door when um, Bender oh, leaves. Oh, yes. Yeah. When they kick him out. Yeah. And the Get door out. already says and stay and out, stay which out. is fantastic. And don't go to prison. That's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wrote fun plot in, in capital letters. I think it's because it's, it's a fun plot. Yeah. I think so, yeah. yeah. I think the end, the end, the way it ties up together and the fact that the ridiculousness, how far they lean into the ridiculousness of the 3D printer printing literally everything he thinks of yeah. and it being sentient. And it's so stupid. And I like, love it. Oh, it'll take a couple of hours. No, I updated it with modern technology. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, fuck you, but also uh, awesome. I also love, there's a few like weird kind of like <laughs> s- sweet or I guess not antagonistic moments in this episode. Like, um, the th- 3D printer is going to take a while, and so Bender goes, "Shall we adjourn to the, the porn, porn folder?" folder? <laughs> and the and the scientist just like it's a beat, and then he just cracks a little smile. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just nice. And then also when um uh they're confused over there being another fry. Uh, Bender goes, but Fry is a beautiful and unique object. <gasps> oh, wait. <laughs> I thought that was cute. Yeah, it is really nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm actually going to peel back the curtain on this. Uh, two things. We have to wrap up soon. Oh. And there's two express reasons. One, uh, Phil and I have a D&D session and the, uh, the other peeps are... Minutes, uh, about 20 minute drive away. <laughs> oh, yeah. gosh. Um, and Ellen is... Uh, slowly dying. Slowly dying. <laughs> I'm really sick, you guys. Um, oh, you got a cold or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah apparently she's been sick for I've been, very nice I've been sick since the weekend, but I had like an audition on Monday. I had a rehearsal oh, for a new thing. Oh, I had a God. clowning workshop. So I just oh, really God. haven't been oh, able God. to rest and yeah. it's all catching up to me. Yeah, I, I, I was sick this week. It's not a nice one. It's not it's nice, no. Gnarly, so. Every, everyone else is sick though, so it makes me a bit happier. So we, we're just going to we're just gonna fuck off. Um, yeah. ah, do you okay. want to wrap up the podcast? Oh, oh. Yo, yo, yo. Man. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, we're going we're gonna to pivot to rap at the end. Yeah. Um, should, we, should we do a vote? We should. Sure, it's free one. Yeah, I was going to say, can we three, two, one this? But oh. yeah. we can three, two, one it. Three, two, <laughs> two one. one. Free, free one hunting. hunting. There you go. <laughs> it's just a better episode than this one. This one's I enjoyed okay. it. I, I enjoyed it. This one's okay. Can I that add one's in, ex- exceptional. Can I add in a weird? Um, uh, both these episodes have raps at the end. Yes, yes. Oh, one they do of too. them makes more sense. Yes. <laughs> uh, is it? Is it this one? Yes. That's yeah, good. <laughs> I was hoping where others were going to have words. Just go so many places. Yeah. Um, and is this this one's a fun kind of like little side mm. adventure. But it's it like a middle... Well, it is middle of a season. Yeah. It yeah. feels like a middle of a yeah. season yeah. episode in a it, good way. It, it doesn't reveal that much about the characters. It doesn't delve into no. any real heartstring territory. But, but it is a fun It's romp. fun. It's and, good. And, and it's the also... characters are being their characters. Like Fry's... I didn't mention this, but what I love about this episode is how fucking... When Fry's angry, he's especially so, a bender, it's a good comedy, he's isn't it? He's so a, petty. He's such a yeah. grump, and I love it because yeah. he's not- that whole side plot's really good. And everyone, way, the way everyone just ignores him, yeah, yeah. It's, it's but that's another thing as well. I love the whole um, like you can see people in the background, uh, like Planet Express people in the background, just kind of like <laughs> just kind of minding their own business. Zoidberg like, making Zoidberg the tea, Zoidberg making tea, and then sitting down, and it's just him and Leela, and, and it's he's, never mentioned. No, and I just love it's, that kind of shit. There's already good character moment as well when when not fry and leela are hanging out oh yes and and she does the old Ooh. yeah you probably it is getting late you should i'll get your coat that <laughs> he is, kicks her out. Oh God. it's so lovely for her to make the move on him i like that <laughs> it's Especially like the, it's been so hot and cold in these last equal yeah. opportunity yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just the little moments where you're like oh yeah they are together like yeah. there was a, an episode a while ago where they were just hang they were sleep they were just sleeping over yeah yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah of course yeah. they are yeah I, but, I like yeah. it when they, they commit to that because yeah. they deserve to be together. They yeah. deserve to be happy. I will yeah. say the music in this one is quite fun. Yes. And like, yeah. you know, John DiMaggio has well. a wonderful voice and um, well. and like, well. yeah, all the, it's it's my favourite thing when song parodies are actually quite, like they could almost be that kind of song in their own regard. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I, I think the, the music in this one's really top notch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's just not as good as the other episode. Yeah. No, just the, mat- like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the whole ep- the, uh, 
free will hunting is just a much nicer, tighter package. And you, you know, oh, much goodness. like this episode is a much tighter episode this week, yeah. as in this episode of the podcast is much tighter. Yeah, good segue. Because I'm, but we were I'm also back. rambling. <laughs> oh. Hollering Hawker Smith. <laughs> so, guys, if you would like to come back next week, and you always do, and you always Gold will, Dick and Graham. We will be doing. Oh, I was going to say easy, Ellen. Oh, that the episode. That easy, Ellen stole my heart. <laughs> Two D. Floundering floral. Blacktop. Sorry. What is it? What? You have to go back to the episode Dad. to hear it. No. <laughs> it's called 2D Blacktop. Okay. Which is a, a, seems to be a predominantly 2D episode. Ooh. I don't know because I've never seen it. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Hey, guys. Until next week, I've been secreting Sean. <laughs> Rice. <laughs> I already said mine. Ah, oh, that easy going, Ellen. Ride you to the end. Uh. And I'm hollering Harker Smith. Catch me Wednesday night at the watering hole. See you there, folks. Bye. 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 I think we've confused folk with the cowboys. <laughs> have we? No. Or have we created a new subgenre? No. Cowboy. Whoa. Thanks for tuning in. If you'd like to contact us, you can do so by emailing us at babybeardmedia at gmail.com. Our socials are Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at babybeardmedia. And if you're looking for a way to support us, the best way you can do it is by jumping onto iTunes or the podcast app and giving us a five-star rating and a nice review. goes a long way to helping us. Otherwise, if you'd like to join us next week...